Shins! Shins! Kia ora whanau, it's Tony here from Distracted Sports. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Now, today I'm going to be doing something similar to what I was doing last week. Last week, was it last week? It was actually a couple of weeks ago. And I hate to break something else to you. I've just started this recording and I've got, you know that feeling, got like a sneaky sneeze, just the, like the top of your nose and it just kind of wants to come out. And I'm, I'm kind of reconsidering whether I continue with this recording or start again. But you know what? For you, I'm going to push through, but for me pushing through, I'd really like you to like and subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, don't do it. Uh, you can even press the dislike button if you like. I don't mind. It's absolutely fine. But anyway, where was I going? Yes, last week I reacted to a video about the skills of hurling. I saw people doing the egg a spoon thing. I saw incredible uh, feats of hand-eye coordination, amazing catches, great waxer with a stick that is not a stick, it's a hurley which I got corrected many, many times for calling it a stick. Who would call it a stick? And then the ball is not a ball. It's like a Gaelic word that I don't want to pronounce because I'm pretty sure I'd muck it up. Because it looks like one of those words like Siobhan or Maeve, where it has a bunch of vowels that are just thrown at it and you don't really know how it's pronounced, but it looked like Sleotar to me. But someone could come along and say it's like Schlaw, and I'd be like, okay, yeah, Gaelic, that, that makes sense. But anyway, I don't know what, if I'm Sleotar, as far as I could see, but what would I the big feeling that I actually got from the comments thank you so much for all the people who watched it and all the people who commented was how ingrained hurling is in the culture in Ireland and for me that's really really special to find out because I am Irish um, I've many generations in New Zealand now but my bloodline is definitely definitely Irish 75% uh, of my DNA is from Ireland 12% of it's from Scotland so very Gaelic so it's wonderful to learn about the sport the sport that my ancestors played and it seems like a very old sport, but it seems like one of those sports that goes beyond just what happens on the field and it really, really embeds itself into all aspects of Irish culture, which is just a lovely thing. So what I wanted to do was, I was tempted to do like a reaction video to the rules, and I have ADHD, so those rules videos kind of just make me go, you know, really, really turn off and get really, really bored. So I thought, well, actually I'd rather learn about like the history of, um, the history of, of hurling and, and where it came from and all that sort of thing, maybe a little bit more about the rules, picking up a little bit of it. But what I'd like to do next is actually re react to like highlights of a game or something. So if anyone has like an incredible f uh, footage of like a period of a game or something like that, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll have a look because I'm, I'm really interested and I'd like to know more about hurling. I actually started looking at um, hurling and Gaelic um, sports Gaelic football societies in Auckland where I live in New Zealand and there seems to be a lot of them so I'm thinking about actually heading along and, and maybe getting a bit of footage there and learning a little bit more about these incredible Gaelic sports. And the other thing is there a bit of a rivalry between Gaelic football and hurling or is it just we're on the same path a couple of amateur sports that the community love I, yeah let me know in the comments but anyway Today I'm going to be, there's a video called What is Hurling and it's made by GAA Learning. We're all about learning, so thank you to those wonderful people at GAA Learning. You should go subscribe to them. Unless it's an awful video, I've never seen it before. If it's an awful video, then this will be a great video itself of me reacting to an awful video. But anyway, that is enough blathering. I am a blatherer, um, which I think is definitely part of my Irish roots. But I think I'll, I'll start to watch this now, so I better put on the old heady heady phones. Hitty hitty phones. Do I really need to call it that time? Anyway, uh, let's give this a bit of a bash, eh? What is hurling, everybody? I want to know. Oh, straight off the bat, we've got technical issues. I can't hear the blooming thing. Hold on, let me flick this guy. Oh, uh, Bluetooth device. I should have done that already, but I didn't. Now I've added my Bluetooth device. So. Uh, without further ado, after my technical difficulty that I think I've got sorted now, what is hurling? Let's have a look. I want to know. Do you, well, you, you probably already know what hurling is. Hurling is Ireland's national game and is oh. believed to be the oldest field game in the world. It is also one of the most spectacular. Oh, I'm happy because sometimes you see these videos and they're not actually by Irish people, but this guy is, is Irish as Ennis. Um, so it's the oldest field game in history is it is it bigger than gaelic football that's what i was asking before is there is there a rivalry between gaelic football and hurling are you either like a hurling man or a gaelic football man and there's a bit of a bloods versus crips kind of deal to it i don't know look we're 10 seconds in it's five minutes five and a half minutes this, hopefully i don't do this too much i'll try not to pause too much 
It can be traced back to Celtic times and features an Irish folklore to illustrate the deeds of many heroic and mystical figures. Oh. Hurling is played with the hurley stick, made of ash and ranging in length from 26 to 36. Okay, I, I'm going to change the volume up a little bit on this. Made of ash. What on earth? What do they mean by that? Made of ash. Like ash wood? Ash? I, I, I'm sorry, I'm too dense to understand that because ash is something that comes from burnt wood. I'm confused. Anyway, so it's got a mythical past. All right. Six inches. The bottom, or boss of the hurley, may have a band of tin around it for strengthening purposes. Hmm. They're not that big, are they? Wow. That's like a hell of a golf shot, isn't it? Uh, no offense to Irish people, as I said before, I'm Irish, but I think um, not only is it the oldest uh, sport in history, but I think it also has the whitest competitors in the world. Sometimes there are a few Irish people out there, not all Irish people, but they're so white that they're, um, they're kind of translucent. You know, you can almost see through their skin. Oh. The hurling ball or schlitter consists of a... Schlitter. Oh... It's not a slayer. See, I told you. A slither. Slither. All right. Standard core encased in a leather cover. Kind of looks like a, a um, diameter of between 69 baseball. and 72 millimeters and weighs approximately 115 grams. All players must wear a helmet with a face guard, which helps to prevent facial and head injuries. Hmm. Hurling is unique because of Take care of that noggin. Skills. Many of the skills that are required. Yeah, to I love that. I love that sort of... I love cricket. I'm a big cricket fan, which, you know, heaps of people hate. Yeah, I, I really love it. So those sort of... That ability to catch a one hand, take the momentum of the ball as you catch it, and then put it in a position where you can smack it, which I presume he's going to do now. Here. The skills are divided into five categories. Skills to gain possession, to maintain possession, to release possession, and skills to contest possession, Ooh. as well as a mix of other skills that we have termed extra skills. Wow. Extra skills. Gaining possession, let's figure it out. Gain possession of the ball and hurling are illustrated here. Each individual skill involves great dexterity and hand eye coordination. Great dexterity. This bloke is particularly excited about what he's talking about, isn't he? He really is. Um, really, really thrilled about it. The ground stop. The ground stop. Oh, well, well done, golly. The chest catch. Ooh. The roll lift. Wow, these guys must cop a few hurlies in the nuts. They they must. They, do they wear boxes? Because one of the problems I think they might face in hurling is because there's so many nut shots that none of them breed. So hopefully, it's, but they must breed because it's one of the it's the oldest field sport apparently, which is incredible considering the the abuse these testicles must take. Incredible stuff. The overhead catch. Oh wow. It is spectacular, isn't it? Get out. Do you get a mark? Does it like they give you space when you do that? Jab it doesn't lift. look like it. The old jabber. Oh. The overhead block. And control. Fog and dargan. Holy moly. I almost pooped myself with that was incredible. Just the way he kept his eyes on the ball with a bunch of crazy, crazy Irishmen swinging sticks around him. You can these guys must get absolutely mothered sometimes. Is there like a, a video where you can just watch people getting owned? I know that's not a nice thing for me to watch, but I kind of want to watch it. I have that side to me. I'm sorry. Having gained possession, the next challenge is to maintain it. You do the following skills. Maintain it. Ground dribble. Egan Spoon. Solo run. Oh, this. What is it? Solo run. The old Egan Spoon here. Now Releasing position. Release I heard a lot of people in the comments. They s described um, hurling as a mixture of murder and hockey. So yeah, it's yeah. It seems like a wildly, wildly mad sport. And this can be done in the following ways. The ground strike. All right. Ooh. The 
Strike from the hand. Strike from the hand. The running ground strike. Oh. Doubling. <laughs> Overhead strike. Jeez, man. The, I, I was just getting nervous. These, the two blokes swinging their sticks towards each other's heads at the same time. It's madness, man. It is absolute madness. And the hand pass. The hand pass. There are various means of contesting possession in hurling. The clash. <laughs> I mean, look. Have you ever seen so much Irish whiteness on one screen? Like, so a couple of two big behinds there. Fat bottom boys. You make the rocking world go round. And, well, these guys, look at these hardcores. No helmets. Far out. They do look like right-wing nationalists, which I'm sure they're not. They're just got trim haircut. But um, look, look at that. That is a white fella. Look how white that guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm commenting on just everybody's ethnicity here. Yeah. I don't know. I'm Irish. Am I allowed to do that? I feel like I, am I that white? I'm I'm browner than that. Anyway, let's get back to it. Contesting position with these fat bat fat bottom boys. Let's go. Oh, shins, shins. Shins, Bat. elbows, everything must be sore. The ground block. Every interaction looks like it's going to result in something very painful happening to one of these individuals. I think you got. I think this is an incredible sport, but these guys are straight up mad. The frontal block. <laughs> wow. Watch out, love. Oh, wow. And the ground or air flick. There are just so many tiny little skills that you need to master, and they're all so precise. Let's find out about these extra boys. The correct grip. Right. The puck out or restart. Hook out. Oh, she's come straight from work. Sideline puck. And these guys don't get paid for putting their bodies on the line. Wow. That is remarkable. And that was against the home Three team, I can puck. tell. Man, I'd love to see the rest of the world really get into this. How incredible it would be, like, elite athletes all over the world playing this game. I'm not saying these guys aren't elite, they're quite incredible. The penalty puck. Wow. I want to take his freaking head off. Oh. Man, the freaking crowd must cop it quite a bit too. <laughs> Far out. And goal kicking. Oh, what a stop. Stop, my son. Wow. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's it. Well, thank you so much. Um, what are you? What are you called? Ga Learning. GAA Learning. Awesome. Yeah, far out. There seems like there is just so many tiny, tiny little skills. Uh, that are actually going on in that game and to be able to master them all just must take an absolute lifetime dedication I think it's crazy. Is it something that ever gets debated in Ireland whether um, It should still be a, a amateur sport because when I was a kid Rugby was an amateur sport till 95 96 and it was always a big debate whether they went pro or not um, Is there a debate like that in Ireland? Let me know in the comments below but yeah, I'm still really, really fascinated by it. I still want to know more, but I'd like to maybe watch something a little bit more recent and something that um, is relevant to what's going on in the world of hurling right now. So if there's like a big game coming up or like a passage of play from an, a game recently, from a big game recently, let me know. I'd love to react to that. I think that's probably the next step. I actually need to watch it, you know, as a sport rather than just as a um, an awed uh, outsider essentially which I'll still be sort of an outsider but I just really really want to learn a little bit more but 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Um, I really do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below uh, any qu anything you, that uh, you may be able to answer, maybe able to enlighten a little bit. I'd like to, yeah, I just want to learn more about this strange sport. I'm thinking about maybe doing a Gaelic football video as well. So if you guys like to see that, let me know in the comments below. But if you did enjoy this video, please like. And if you enjoy my content, I do a bunch of rugby stuff and all sorts of other weird things, a lot of strange editing. I have a podcast with two cents. Um, from Two Cents Rugby as well. If you'd like to check that out, go ahead. But but in the meantime, thank you just so much. I just want to say thank you. So thank you very much. I think I've said thank you. Have I said thank you yet? I think I have. But you have yourself a wonderful day. Haere ra, kakita anu. Bye bye.